council uh, for our campaign? A legal council? No, it's not. Board members, do you have any questions for Mr. Uh What's at stake here is essentially, uh, Mr. Gong is, is referring to it as a complaint. Um, just for the record, it's a correction there. It was a request uh, for this, this board to investigate further to see if there are any violations, specifically section 2-8, 3, 2-84 of the County of Hawaii Board of Ethics. Um, taking the liberty to ask uh, Board Council to draft the resolution, uh, spelling out our rules, procedures, and um, a resolution um, which would move this board forward and schedule an investigation to look into this further to see if there are any violations of Section 2-83 and 2-84 per the request of the state office of elections and mr dill could i, could I uh, ask you specifically what points uh, do you see at this at this point in time that would warrant um such a need to move forward um the fact that we don't exactly know what your capacity is in terms of your daughter's campaign the allegations or the potential allegations that are set that are set forth in this letter also your role as the County Council Chair and having oversight of the County Clerk's Office and the uh, Office of Elections for the County of Hawaii. And what specifically is, again, the question, what specifically uh, within that do you see as being um, uh, a, a conflict or something that needs to be looked into? I just want to be clear as far as why this is being moved forward. We don't have anything specific and we need to know more and gather a little bit more information to ensure that there are no any, any ethical violations or should there might be some. Mm -hmm. um, we need to conduct an investigation. That is my opinion. Could I, could I, my could opinion. I question to the, to the corporation council? Could, could I finish first, please? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Thank you. So what I'm trying to say is that we don't know, Mr. Yergong, and in order to get to the bottom of it, we would need to conduct an investigation. Right now, all we have is a request from the State Office of Elections asking us to investigate, and that there's a response from me as the chairman of this board, essentially spelling out our rules and procedures. So that's that's where we're at. Okay. Let's go ahead. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that opportunity, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Ms. Ms. Um, is there a particular section of the code that has anything to do with uh, um, with the a candidate that it's being that it would be illegal or unethical for a candidate to run for office or to uh, to seek election office if they have a parent that, that is an elected official. I, I can see. I want. I want to try to see what's the nexus in terms of my involvement in my. I mean, she's my daughter. And if I wasn't elected as a chair first, I mean, as a county uh, council member, I would still be helping my daughter mm -hmm. in running for election, whether I'm elected or not. So, is there something in there that maybe I'm not aware of that state that that uh, I, I I cannot help my daughter in her campaign? To answer your question, there is no specific provision, but but I think what the board is looking at is your role in the election process, not. Uh, specifically your, your daughter's campaign, but what is your role in the election process and whether or not that has um, any type of influence, I guess, over our campaign. But the chairman has asked me several times about my daughter's and my daughter's campaign, so obviously there is something there that, that either he feels or the board feels that there's an issue there, so I just wanted that clarified because had the uh, chairman not asked that, I think he asked that about three times about my daughter. So that's what I'm trying to ascertain. What is it exactly that Well, to echo be? what the council said is, it being the county council chairman and oversight of the Office of Elections through the county clerk's office, there, there is potential for a conflict of interest. And for, I, that's what we're trying to get to the bottom of. And I'm sorry you feel that you stated publicly that this is a silly distraction, but really all we're trying to do is to preserve the integrity of the democratic process in the best interest of the county of Hawaii voters so that they have some shred of faith that their vote does count without being unduly tampered or 
messed with in, in a way that, that might be a conflict. So what we're trying to get to is bottom of your role, oversight of the County of Hawaii Office of Elections, and if there's any conflict in your involvement with your daughter's campaign. It's more so your, your duties as council chair and oversight of the elections office that we're concerned with. Can I ask your question? Uh, can I make a couple more comments, if you don't mind? Well, does oh, thank you. I, I, yeah, it does. Okay. I, and I, I appreciate your, your comments, Mr. Dill. Um, it's just that, you know, when, when um, uh, you have a situation like this, which obviously is going to be covered by the press, and uh, a decision has been made to move forward, um, as a person that certainly has a, a stake in this, uh, you know, I just want to get more clarification as to why. Hopefully you're not offended by my questions. I just, I just want to make sure that I understand why is it that... Uh, that the board is, is asking to move forward. Um, if you want some for, uh, clarification in regards to uh, anything to do with my role with the elections, uh, I'd be very happy to answer those questions for you. But uh, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, when I leave today, at the very least, you know what we do um, ascertain as part of the record is when you take a look at what was brought forward as a complaint by the uh, state election office, or at least a pass through by the state election office. It talks about myself being a Christian official, you know, as you know, serving in that role, in that capacity. I want to make sure that that is completely stricken. That's number one. <coughs> um, you know, number two, um, because you've asked me several times in regards to my relationship, to, I mean, my role with with my my daughter and her running for uh, for office. Um, I just want to make make absolutely clear. That uh, you know, as far as my role as a council person or my role in dealing with the elections, has absolutely nothing to do. So what you just said in terms of having a stake in this election, you're now saying you don't have a stake. You, you, you can have a read back the minutes, but you're talking about having the press here and having a stake in this election. Well, as a person that that's being complained about. I mean, it's, it's my name on the docket, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Chair, can I just interrupt just so that, sure. um, you know, Mr. Yunong actually brought up a good point in that um, actually there hasn't been a decision made as to what the board is going to do. So I think he said, you know, you guys have decided to move forward mm -hmm. and um, there has not, that decision has not been made. If the board um, were to initiate um, its own investigation or hold an informal hearing, your rules require uh, the board to um, agree on that. And then a resolution has to be uh, drafted uh, so that uh, the nature and scope of the informal hearing or the investigation is limited and everybody knows what it's about. So, you know, so, so it's clear. Um, Nothing, as I hear, has been decided, um, and so... Yeah, thank you for clarifying that. I'm sorry, um, I thought I heard the chair say that they were going to move forward with a resolution, craft a resolution. Mary, did he not say that? I thought that's what I heard earlier. Anyway, no, we haven't voted on anything, uh, Mr. Yardong, yet. What I did say is that I asked council to draft a resolution for discussion and for a vote today. Okay. And what the draft resolution, which hasn't been voted on or decided on, <coughs> essentially approves this board to move forward with an uh, informal investigation to determine what your actions are, what your role is for the County of Hawaii Office of Elections. And as the draft reads, also to identify or determine whether or not with due respect to your role in the County of Hawaii Office of Elections, if there are any violations of the County of Hawaii Code of Ethics, specifically sections 2-83 and 2-84. Yes. Thank you, sir. As you sit before us right now, you're not the average father. So you can't come up and say, I'm doing what a father has to do. You're not the average father. You happen to be the chairman of the county council. That's the other side of the coin. Right. As chairman of the county council, you have a function within the electoral system. Mm -hmm. right. We have to check into that to see if that function in the electoral system will in any way impact upon your daughter's candidacy. You see, that's the connection, the nexus. We have to see how they interact. That's what we're looking at, the interreaction. So therefore, our viewpoint is 
what is your role in the election function? Is it a figurehead role or are you operational? That's what we have to find out. So far, I haven't had no discussion on that particular point. Okay. And that's what we have to determine. If you're functional, if you're actually operational in the election process, it may have something to do with your daughter running for office and the candidate that's running against her. You understand? So we have to be fair to both of them. So we want to know how you can, in any way, impact that. And that's what we're looking for. Okay. I appreciate that. Then. Mr. Chairman, at this time, uh, I'd like to um, ask Corporation Council whether or not um, your role as a chairman is a, a conflict in dealing with this issue. Because I think there's a conflict uh, that, that you have as chairman of the, uh, of the Ethics Commission, being that I'm here, uh, you know, that I'll be here before you. And, and I'd like to ask the Corporation Council make a determination if, if the, uh, the chairman in dealing with uh, this issue with me would be a conflict. And, um, uh, Mr. Gong, if you want to elaborate further, but I, I really, I don't, at this point, see a conflict. Um, this board is, uh, the members are nominated by the mayor, approved by the council. They're empowered to interpret uh, the code of ethics to uh, provide opinions to officers and employees. So uh, I, I don't, I guess I don't understand. Then, that. then I'll elaborate. The reason I think that there may be a conflict with Mr. Dale in, in dealing with an issue before, uh, before this body, because as you know, because he is the chairman of the, of the ethics commission, and whom I respect, by the way. But I think that there is a conflict, in, in, in due to the fact that uh, uh, when my office was uh, had an opening uh, for an employee to work, you know, we placed an ad in the paper for an employee to work for uh, my office. Uh, Mr. John Dale, as chairman of the ethics commission, called my office called me up personally um, to ask me to hire his brother. Oh, wait a second. And, uh, can and, I uh, object to this? Because this is no. an event that I cannot even recall, and I don't even but know Mr. why Dill, I if you, if you, my brother. Mr. Deal, if, if, if you can't recall this, Mr. Deal, then you should not be sitting as chairman of the Ethics Commission. You called because your brother, you okay. called me, when was he this? Asked me. Did you provide a I, I, date? I, we'll, we'll provide you with that, sir. And I just asked a transcript. I'm asking. That? I'm asking the corporation. Can you answer my question? Can you provide a transcript of that conversation? You, you're denying this, Mr. Dill. Are can you? you answer are the you? Question? Are you denying this? Because I will put right, you. Look, are you gonna, denying this? Look, I'm gonna cut you off now. All right. Are you from denying this, this, Mr. Dill? Yes, I'm denying. Oh, it. then then you're gonna be in more ethical trouble than anyone else that ever okay. come before the ethics commission. of the rules of procedure of this body. It says that if you feel that if anybody on this body may be biased or prejudiced against you in any manner, if you can file an affidavit stating so, and we would take that up. All right? So would you rule on that, Ms. Deputy? No, I don't rule on it. The board rules 